are Geeks Not Nerds. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. Vince, what are we talking about today, sir? We're going to talk about whether or not you geeks out there should decorate your entire place or part of your place or whatever part of your place with all of your geek paraphernalia. Indeed. Or, or memorabilia. Or museum exhibits, if you wish. <laughs> Vince, I don't know if I want to comment on this subject. Can I just bow out entirely? Yeah, your place is entirely too geeky. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. The show's yours. So anyway, as I was saying, you should decorate your place exactly like his. In fact, you should move in with him. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now this is the home and garden section. I, of geek I don't... <laughs> I don't, have, I don't have any space. I have too many collectibles. <laughs> <laughs> and a kid, no less. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> he occupies a room. Yeah, some of my collectibles are in there. <laughs> uh, just the more well, kiddish ones. Oh, uh, I just had this idea that Jason is now one of your collectibles. <laughs> they took him out of the package just because they thought he was cooler that way. Yeah, I mean, we left him in for about nine months, but <laughs> ultimately we decided we better go ahead and break break open the package. <laughs> All the accessories. They threw away the accessories. <laughs> Wait, that was pretty gross. I'm it's sorry I said that. It's getting a little bit strange. Anyway. Um, I can't wait for my wife to see this video. <laughs> so, so, Vince, let's get to the topic at hand. <laughs> Should you decorate your entire place? I would say, generally speaking, what do you mean by entire place? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I think, I think uh, ultimately what, what we're... What we really should be talking about is like style. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like everybody always says style over substance. Here, maybe it's you know um, uh, style over you know amount of paraphernalia. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think that I think that you can um, display. Uh, and if you've if, if you've seen the video of uh, touring my apartment, you can see kind of what my style is. But uh, but um, I, I think that uh, depending on what you have, uh, there are classy ways to display things, and then there are more you know juvenile ways to display things. Mm-hmm. And um, I think I think it just all depends on you know um, how much how much class you try to have, how much thought you put into it, and um, you know it's the difference between making the making the you know teenage fanboy looking room and. Um, something a little more, I don't know, museum-y, or just like, uh, um, you know, you know, we're we're trying to display something as opposed to just tossing it on a wall. Yeah, you know, if you'd gone into my room, oh, even a year ago or so, or actually it'd been about two years ago. Anyway, if you'd gone into my place and uh, looked in there, you'd think a teenager lived there because I didn't have more than that much room in between posters on my walls. And uh, I, I'm very much so a function over form type of guy. So uh, I didn't necessarily design this place to look pretty. I designed this place to have adequate floor space for me to do my fitness workouts, things like that. And uh, I had to take all my posters down because, well, as it turns out, when you're doing heavy cardio, you start flinging sweat on things. And uh, that just ruins right. your poster. Right. So I guess I guess what you're getting at is just, you know, di- different um, different people have different lifestyles. Yeah. So you have to be able to, to compensate for that. But some of it also just depends on wh- where you are and, in, in, you know, your stage of life and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you know, you know, certainly certainly we have a, a lot of teenagers watching. And, um, you know, I say to them, do whatever you want to, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well... You know, you know, to, to to an extent, right? I mean, like, uh, you, you know, you know, you're you're a kid, be a kid. Uh, but it's you know, it's impossible for me to not uh, come at this from you know, an adult with a family standpoint. Um, you know, I'm I'm a husband and a father. That 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 change that changes that changes your perspective. Um, I have to think Very about. Well, I'm a dude that throws sweat on his walls, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yes. Um, I, that is your defining quality. But uh, <laughs> but no, um, you, you have. It's interesting um, looking at the two of us because uh, we, we're, we're at very different uh, stages of our life. Um, not to get too terribly personal, but I mean, of course, you know, I'm, I'm married and I have a kid. Uh, Vince um, Vince has a steady, uh, a steady girlfriend and, and lives alone at the moment. And um, so, you know, we were two, two very different uh, kinds of stages. There's a big, there, there's a big difference then um, when, uh, or at least I, I think there very easily could be, um, 
with, you know, what I would want my place to look like when my wife and I are entertaining guests versus mm-hmm. um, versus when you have somebody over or when you and your girlfriend double date or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like, like, uh, like you know, different different kinds of, you know, if, if, if you were if you were married, it would be a way different dynamic, right? Yeah. You know, if you had a wife and you were married, um, you, you two together would decide what your style was, what your style of, of decorating was, and just, and, and just your, um, you, you know, what what uh, what personal traditions you uphold and those sorts of things, right? Like, um, you know, are you going to be old school enough that every time you're invited over to somebody else's place, you bring a gift? There are people who do things like that, right? Um, you, you know, that, that, that sort of thing. Uh, so, some people just like to try to be really classy um, um, in their in their relationships. And so, uh, you know, um, we have a really decked out, geeky looking apartment. We also have a lot of other stuff we kind of balances out. We've got some 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 kind of uh, you know more more classic pictures on the walls and 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 um and we've got some paintings and some and some things of that nature um interspersed with all the with all the comic book and Star Trek and that kind of stuff and uh, you know, that makes things a little bit less off putting to people who come over and and, and are you know entirely into that kind of stuff. But even our living room has our best. You know, stuff. It's not like we keep. It's not like we keep all the comic book stuff out of the living room. The signatures are there, and the weapons, and stuff like that. Now, when you were about to move in with, uh, with, uh, with Sarah, mm-hmm. she said that there was a particular way she wanted to decorate the place with your geek stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, see, I, I interpreted it wrong because <laughs> because when when uh, when Sarah and I um, were were, uh, were about to get married, um, she made it sound to me like uh, she wanted. Uh, you know, the living room to be really traditional. She wanted the, the, the main the main living space to be kind of traditional so when, when we entertain guests and stuff, um, it wouldn't be real off-putting. And um, I was thinking, well, you know, we're not we're not going to move into a big house right away. Uh, you know, we, we, we had an apartment. Now we're in a larger apartment. And, um... And I didn't want to put everything in a closet. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I didn't, I didn't want um, you know all my cool geeky stuff to be to be out in a closet. And um, it turned out neither did she. Uh, what, what, what she what she meant was uh, that that, that uh, you know the best stuff uh, she wanted in the living room. She didn't want the living room to be decked out with action figures. Uh, she wanted it to have the signatures and the and, and, and you know the weapons collection and um, and uh, some of her you know cooler bigger scale figures and things like that. Um, that's what she meant. It turned it turned out. And, uh, and it was really cool. I mean, um, it, it turns out we were a lot more on the same page, and um, and uh, I was really lucky, <laughs> ultimately. And you know, you know, we, we happen to be interested in a lot of the same things. And so, um, my, my whole point in all of this, I know we're talking a lot about ourselves. Um, my my big point of all of this is uh, there's there are there are different ways to do it, and you can do it in you know a more classy way. And that's I, I feel like what we tried to do. I think what it, what it really boils down to is, is a level of comfort. And uh, how comfortable are you? How comfortable is your uh, your domestic partnership, whether that be a wife, a husband, or a, a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever? Or even just the other people you might happen to live with. Yeah, you know, roommates. You have roommates, or you just live with, with you know, dogs or parents. or <laughs> Right, yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> a case you, know. you live with, like, 50 dogs in a one-room apartment. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's it's uh, it's it's really important when you finally find that special cat <laughs> that, that you that you don't that you don't uh, decorate your place in such a way where where that cat is terribly put off. You know, it's and funny. No that's longer really wants, important. No longer wants to live with you. If you have a cat that can jump up a good distance, you probably don't want to keep any statues out on display. <laughs> no, no, probably not. Especially if they're made out of yarn. <laughs> anyway. But uh, I think it, it really boils down to a level of comfort. And uh, how comfortable are you in your space? And when you are in your space, you need to consider that you're not the only person that's going to be there. We do feel like this show should be on HGTV right now. <laughs> how comfortable are you with your space? <laughs> Leave us a comment. Let us know. I just think of a guy holding up a, a phantom statue going, I'm very comfortable. <laughs> I'm extremely comfortable. Like, no, you're extremely creepy. <laughs> I found it. This <laughs> I got the other five hundred. But uh, where is it going with this? Oh yeah. Um, so for example, you bring a person back and you have all of your geek stuff on display, and you have all your posters on the wall, like your walls covered in posters. You have every figure that's ever been known to man on a shelf somewhere and on the floor, whatever. 
you know, people are not going to be necessarily comfortable in there because they're going to feel like either going to feel like they're walking to a place that's overcrowded, overcluttered, and therefore dirty, or they're going to feel like they're walking into a museum and they're not allowed to touch anything. That's a really good point, Vince. I mean, you know, I, I was talking about you know trying to display things in, in the most classy way, but also some of it's just practicality. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you don't want to be uh, horribly overwhelmed. Um, I think that's a problem my place has is that I just have too much stuff. You get kind of overwhelmed, but uh, but but also, yeah, you, you know. Uh, you have to put things uh, away in such a way where when people come over, they're not, like, tripping over things. Mm. Um, and I mean, if you have the boys just... over for poker night, you don't want people knocking things off shelves just by doing this. <laughs> you know, we've got this, um, we've got this big, um, like, uh, statue of Moses on top of one of our um, bookshelves. Charlton Heston. And one day, no, and and um, and uh, one one day my stepdad came over and um, and uh, oh, he he leaned back and, and that 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 bookcase is not real stable. And um, he he leaned back in a chair and he was I mean it wasn't like he leaned back a little bit he was just for some reason he was just like leaning back way way far <laughs> and um, the Moses started tipping like and it's heavy I mean like it's like it's like fifteen pounds or so. And uh, me, eh, it's probably not 15 pounds. It's heavy, and um, and and it's it, it's toppled like this. And I just thought for sure it was going to drop on his head. <laughs> you know, so yeah, don't do that. Um, I have never noticed that Moses in her place. Really? I'll show it to you. You'll probably be like, "Oh, that's Moses." I'll be like, "What happened to uh, <laughs> Grizzly <laughs> Adams?" <laughs> I thought that was Grizzly Adams. Not Moses. <laughs> but uh, well, anyway. Um, I think it's important to uh, to build your space, or, or decorate your space, however you want to look at it, in, in, in such a way that everybody who's going to be likely to be in there will be comfortable. And uh, I, you shouldn't deny who you are. Right, yeah, that's really important. I mean, like, one of the things that uh, my girlfriend and I have talked about, we've been talking about, you know, moving in together, one of the things is that, uh, that we talk about significantly is, is where the geek stuff goes. And, uh, and the idea of a house... She keeps using the terms man cave, and, uh... You know who had the first man cave? Aquaman? Batman. Batman. Batman cave. Yeah, Batman cave, but he was too cool to call it that, so he called it a bat cave. Yeah. Batman cave is located in Batman do. That was not funny. <laughs> don't um, laugh! <laughs> I'm sorry. But, don't, uh, you don't see... Don't tell awkward jokes where I have to decide whether or not I should <laughs> laugh, because I'm trying to be polite. See, but in my head, when I look at... Uh, if I were to just have my own place. Her aside, if I were to have my own place, I would decorate the the general house as a regular house, and then I would have my room that's just this uh, this museum of geek stuff. And see, not me, man. It'd be everywhere. <laughs> I'm just... I, I'm, I'm weird like that. See, you would have spotty <laughs> things throughout the place. But, yeah, uh, right. But, uh, like, my phantom statue, that doesn't necessarily need to be, uh, be packed away into a man cave. But... Uh, because it's a cool statue. It's a it's a detailed looking. Interesting yeah, piece. exactly. Well, that's what I mean when I say everywhere. Like I, like it would just be set up in a museum type way where I would have neat things like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you can have a statue of a man examining his foot, then you can have a statue of a man holding a gun. I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> There's a statue of a man holding his foot. Yes, I saw it. At Sci-Fi Sundays, not kidding, at that guy's place. Oh, really? There's a little statue, and it's really neat, of just a dude sitting there looking at his foot. <laughs> you know, uh, talk, really about, cool. talk, about a, talk about a house that's, that looks like a museum. Man. Those people have a ridiculously nice, large house um, with lots and lots of stuff inside. Yeah, uh, they're, uh, that, that's um, it's a professor of, um, a science professor at KU... Um, I don't remember exactly what he's what 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 I uh, I think I think science no less. <laughs> um, I can't remember if it's paleontology or what, but um, but but anyway, uh, I they 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 uh, they're big with science fiction fans, and um, they do uh, Sci Fi Sunday every month or two, and um, I always go, and uh, yeah, that their their house has the most amazing collection of um, well, pretty much really all kinds of stuff. I mean, um, but but uh, yeah, they have a lot of of amazing classic pieces, and um, yeah. They're interesting people. They've gone to Cap's Trek Club before. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, anyway, um, what do you think about this? Uh, how do you how do you like to decorate? And uh, if you had your, um, you know, if you had your dream house, I mean, would you would you have that museum space? Would you just you know put all your cool collectible stuff in your museum space, or would you have it decked out all over the place? How do you feel about you know like like um, you know action figures on walls and things like that? I used to do a lot more of that than I do now. Do you feel like if somebody were to want you to compromise, you'd, you'd freak out and say, no, I must have it everywhere, and then also leave us a comment about how it feels to be single for the rest of your life? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm kidding. Um, also, just list out uh, random lists of, uh, of stereotypes that might offend people. Uh, yeah. Also, give us your grocery list. We'd be pretty pleased to know what's on the list, too. <laughs> right. Right, absolutely. And um, if there's a topic you'd like us to talk... If you have room in your comment bar, <laughs> uh, and, there's, and there's something you'd like us to talk about in a future video, feel free to leave that as well. And, um, and uh, have fun spending all day leaving us comments. <laughs> And thanks a lot for watching Geeks Not Nerds. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince, reminding you to support your local comic book store. I'm not going to have time for that now. <laughs> We're too busy right now. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. cheese, spatula, human blood, bananas. <laughs> <laughs>